might be legit and I might I might have scammed them. Hello everybody, welcome to the video. It's another video. I know my hair is all crazy and I might look like a mess and sorry for the messy room. I gotta cover everything up. So today's video, I'm gonna try to play over gameplay of me playing Xbox. If that doesn't happen, then I guess it's just another video of me just here talking to you guys. So if you see Xbox video playing while I'm talking to you, then uh, it works. But I, if I don't, then I don't know how to get it off my Xbox. So anyways, I got tons of big news, guys. I have to tell you all of it right now. For like I said, I haven't been vlogging so much, but now I don't have an excuse. So I was released from my job. Uh, I was still under training, so they were allowed to do it, but um, it was partially my fault. I'll tell you guys later. I already got another job offer, and it is half the distance, more money. It's easier than the other job less hours more money though it's awesome i have to tell them whether i'm gonna accept or not and um, i have to make that decision so good news i will be vlogging more so that's a good <laughs> good thing i'm excited about that and i just feel like life is turning around for me this job is not towards being a firefighter i know i told you guys i wanted to be a firefighter for the time being if vlogging doesn't work out but you got to be patient with this kind of career if you're gonna pursue um both things firefighter and vlogger so um it is not a firefighter position it is working at a former job they just need people right now and they're willing to pay the money so if they are then I'll accept if they're not then I'm gonna have to find somewhere else good news is I'm gonna be vlogging a lot more and um, like I said uh, I kind of quit slash got released and they let me go so now I'm not working there anymore which is all the pros and cons about that job good pay uh, basically it um, cons was 30 miles away Con, you're working in extreme heat and another con people are miserable and grumpy even though they're getting paid way more than I was but it was still a lot of money for me and um, I just changed my oil this morning because I put 1400 miles on my car from working a month and a half there so that's a lot of driving like I said I have another job opportunity literally one day later and it is for more money less hours and it's good conditions like I might accept it and I might refer a friend too so hopefully um, they'll want to do it I'll talk to them hopefully they'll be okay with it that's pretty much it for that part that's it I'll just have gameplay for the beginning if I get the gameplay for this three minutes this is not my normal phone this is an iPhone 6 plus over here this is my iPhone 6 I know that it looks like a big difference but um this I got in the mail right it looked brand new I ordered I paid full price brand new $400 for an iPhone 6 plus 128 gigabyte, which that's what this is. So it said uh, brand new on the eBay, on the eBay store, eBay. I was like, hey, this phone is not brand new. The finger scanner does not work. The, when I put my SIM card in, it works, but it doesn't connect to Wi-Fi that well. And it looks legit. It, everything about this looks legit. I plug in the app in the iTunes, everything looks legit. I could upload from the iCloud and all that stuff. It worked. So I contacted the seller. I said, you guys false advertised. You said this was brand new. Fingerprint scanner doesn't work. There's some scratches on it. I said, I want my refund and I want the phone. They're like, best we could do is a 10% refund and we take the phone back. So I was like, no, I want a full refund and I keep the phone. And they're like, um, no, you, we could give you a full refund if you send the phone. So I said, no, I want a full refund. I want the phone. They didn't respond for three days. So I contacted eBay, right? And then eBay was like, um, we'll give you a full refund and you get to keep the phone. So I got $400 back and I get to keep the phone. So what I was planning on doing if this phone doesn't pan out and actually work like I wanted to, if I can't get the fingerprint scanner fixed for less than like $50 is what I'm willing to pay for to get that fixed, um, then I will probably just sell it either on eBay as um, used or I will go to Apple Store and trade it in for money and then trade in this phone and get the new iPhone X or the iPhone 8. We'll see. That's my story. Uh, kids, read the descriptions on everything. Make sure it's 100% what you think it is. I mean, I think it might be a legit iPhone. Like I typed in the serial number and everything. It said that it was a real one. So I mean, I'm not sure what's going on here. I guess it was just used and make sure the seller has a positive rating. It does have a positive rating. The guy was like, hey, uh, I, you just got a full refund. Uh, could you still give me five stars? And I was like, nope, I gave him zero. Uh, I gave him one star. 
but he, and then I explained why and he was like, hey, that affects my cells. You could affect my life and how I sell things. I was like, hey, I spent $400 and you gave me the wrong product. So, I mean, it might be legit and I might I might have scammed them, but uh, in the long term, things are turning to, to go on my side now. It feels like I'm not just losing now. Like, I'm, I got a job offer even though I got released from the other job, which I'm like, I'm done with that job, so I'm never going back there again. And I got a $400 free phone, which I'm probably gonna sell for four or $500, because that's 128 gigabytes. But anyways, that had been my story, uh, all six minutes and 50 seconds. I don't know if I'm gonna cut any of it out. Probably not, but that's basically it. I got my coffee here. I got my computer right here. I've been editing, and uh, I almost knocked my coffee over because I'm plugged in. And I'm probably just gonna think about this opportunity and talk to people and hurry up for, and make my decision before this opportunity goes away. Just thank you all so much for the support, even like throughout that. That long period where I was vlogging and I was only posting one or two or three videos a week because of that job like I would work 10 hour days nine hour days eight hour days and um, it would just drain me like I come home looking like a coal miner like I said like my whole face was brown dirty you got oil and stains all over my clothes and all that stuff like I don't want to talk bad about the company because I don't want to say anything like that but um it just wasn't for me and uh, like I said thank you all so much for the support for all those vlogs that we made and go check out the nifty 50 one that I have big news uh, friends crazy night out with friends that video has 19,600 views thank you guys so much for the support and it's ranked at the top above Tanner Fox above all the big youtubers phase rug I don't like I will show you the video right now guys like I'm gonna pull it up on my laptop so I'm gonna go and um, I guess I'll make this its own video so thank you guys so much for all the support make sure you guys leave a like on this video subscribe and comment something awesome down below I'm super hype I am happy about this opportunity that uh, fell in front of me and uh, thank you all so much for the support and I hope we could continue to grow and I will see you guys in the next video thank you so much all leave a like peace out ah uh, I'm going crazy <sighs> When you put it like that, like that, like that, like that, you right Think you got it like that, wanna act like that, alright, alright I'm about to have to backtrack, backtrack, drag on fact, you right You right When you put it like that, like that, like that, you right You right, like that, like that, you right, 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 you right, like that, like that